Welcome everybody. Let's take a look at the market and all the different products. Let's start with the Dow Jones transportation like we always do here. Let me get over to the, to the daily. Um, if you didn't join me for the Twitch live stream this morning, well, you missed out. I covered quite a few products, talked about a few trade setups that I thought was going to happen. Um, I will do that again uh, Friday morning. So join me for Twitch live stream. Going to cover quite a few products, talk about potential trade setups. Um, if you're not a member, become a member, then you can get the link for where, where I have my uh, Twitch channel. Okay. Plus all the, all the other benefits that go along with being a member, streaming charts and everything else, and nightly email. And, okay. All right. Let's get started with looking at today's market. What happened? So here in the Dow Jones transportation, just a little bit of an update here. Wasn't much, range of 101, which is kind of small for the Dow Jones. Uh, but officially we are in positive momentum territory. So, you know, obviously it's made some nice gains here. And we'll see if this thing runs out of gas and does one of those, which it probably will. Eventually gonna run out of gas. There's a big old cycle here, this big, big cycle. It runs way over there like this. And that goes way out to, let's see, November 2nd. So once again, a lot of the products and indices are um, do have a cycle low that first or second week of November. Okay, let's take a look at the Russell 2000. Almost identical to the Dow Jones trans transportation. That's amazing, right? The Russell 2000 and the Dow Jones transportation have been tracking each other really close for two weeks. I mean, almost identical. So same thing on the Russell 2000. Small update, about 24 and a half, a little more. And it too is getting kind of peaky here. It's still in negative territory just by a little bit down here for momentum. Okay. So I don't know. I don't think this is going to go too much higher. Kind of look like it's running out of gas here. Okay. There's a cycle low there, September 23rd. The next one's pretty far out there. Yep. November 26th. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at um, the NASDAQ. Look at the cash. I guess it's considered the cash index. Same thing here, really small update. Range of 194.7, which is really small for the NASDAQ. Okay. And looking very peaky, kind of a pause going on here in the market a little bit. It's November 9th is the next cycle low for this product. So there you go, right? Dow Jones was, I think was the 2nd of November. The, um, the NASDAQ is November 9th. They're all showing that right around election time. Big cycle low. Uh, momentum here on the daily chart for the NASDAQ is still negative. So I think this is gonna have a hard time going too much higher. But again, we'll keep an eye on this. Sometimes the market will pause and have another leg up. So we'll definitely keep an eye on this. But right now this is looking looking kind of peaky like it wants to try to run out of gas and maybe start pulling back. Okay, let's look at the uh, Japanese uh, Nike 225. Looking at the futures here. Let me get onto the daily chart. Same thing. All these indices are doing the exact same thing. Two, three day pause. This one's very negative still in momentum. I don't think this is gonna go um, too much higher, especially this product, the Nike 225. I think it's gonna it's gonna basically pull back and collapse. I don't think it's gonna overcome this, this negative momentum here. Just don't think it's gonna do it. Out of all the indices, this one is the weakest. Okay, let's go over to the Japanese yen. You know, I covered a lot of this this morning almost exact same products. The difference is here we're, we're looking at the products in hindsight, where this morning I'm looking at the products from the, 
the uh, perspective that um, there could be trade setups for that for for the day, right? That's why you want to get on uh, the Twitch and watch my live stream so we can talk about the opportunities, right? Okay, Japanese yen. Get over to the daily here. The other thing too is in the morning on the Twitch live stream, I talk about hourly cycles and, and I'll just, here I'm only looking at the daily charts pretty much. Okay. Um, continues to be on fire, massive positive momentum. It's still got room to go here. Uh, today was a bit of a pause day, but the Japanese yen looks very strong. It's probably gonna be strong for a little while. Maybe it pulls back a little bit out there, but um, for now the Japanese yen to me, uh, you know, it would have been ideal to get in a trade, swing trade down here. Uh, but I still think there's a little bit of room in here to, to go long. Regardless, when this pulls back and does another bounce, which I think is what's going to do before it finally comes down into, into this cycle low, that would be an opportunity to go long again. Okay, so keep that in mind. Japanese yen. Okay, what kind of margin are we looking at? I mean, seventeen hundred and sixty bucks, so it's very affordable for many retail traders. Okay, for one contract. You know what I want to do? I want to go. Um, Hold on a second. I want to go over to CME site and see if there's another Japanese yen product. Because so I think there's a there's either a bigger contract or a smaller contract other than the J7. Okay, there is. It's called the 6J. So I got a feeling this is the big contract. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is the big contract, the 6J, and then the J7 is the mini. But what's interesting is not one tenth, it's just half. It's basically half the half the half the margin. Alright, so yeah, you can trade either one of those. You can you can trade the the, the J7 or the 6J. Okay. I like the J7, it's a little bit cheaper, right? Half the price. Of course, the the movements aren't going to give you as much profit, but if you have a bigger account, then trade the 6J, right? Okay, Japanese yen, I think is a, uh, still probably okay to go long in this, at least for now. Uh, ideally though, I would, for the best setup as I wait for this to come down, maybe it gets a little bit higher, comes down, maybe it doesn't even reach the bottom and goes up one more time. But even if it does reach the bottom, as long as this momentum stays really positive, then when it does the little bouncy bounce, you wanna get in on that trade because that's probably gonna be a winner. Okay, that's my take on the Japanese yen. Let's look at um, look at a few more currencies here, currency futures. We'll look at the euro, euro uh, dollar futures. Look at this thing on fire, on fire! Wow. When is this? Um, September twenty second, and this one over here is. Uh, October 7th okay we can put that in there we can put it in there September 27th okay let's do this why not bold it top boom okay and this one is October 7th duplicate slide over there and we just got to change it to green and October 7 all right so there are your dates for the 6e and I do think I think there's an m6e okay so if you want to trade the micro yeah you can trade the micro euro dollar futures okay um Again, I think like the Japanese yen, because this is very strong, it's even stronger than the Japanese yen. I think this is extremely bullish. I think the dippy do, it doesn't quite get to the bottom. Bang, you take one more long, and then it may do like this, okay? But you know, you're, we are getting kind of close to this cycle low, so you gotta be a little bit aware of that, that there could be a pullback in here. So if you want to be super safe, you'd wait until 
we get past October 7th and do going out into, you know, into the middle of autumn would be like the ideal spot to go along. But as long as momentum stays positive, then uh, <clears throat> dips are probably going to be all right for very short term. The closer we get to this, these two cycle lows, I'd be cautious about it going long. Okay, um, let's take a look at, um, I want to look at one more. Uh, we can look at the British pound, okay? I think it's 6B. Again, just like the Euro is on fire, look at this thing, bam. So the currencies are on fire, all right? Except for, of course, we know which one is getting crushed, US dollar which is down again today. And I'm telling you, it's probably gonna go below 100 bucks. Look at this, crash and bang and boom them. So up like this, fail, down again. Look at this, we're way over here on the left side of this cycle low. This is getting crushed. So what is my take on the dollar? When you get any kind of bounce in here, short the snot out of it. As long as momentum stays down here negative, you can short it once you get coming off the bounce, okay? That's my take on the dollar. It's just the opposite of the euro and the opposite of the yen. You're going to short the bounces, okay? Where on the yen and the British pound and the euro, you're going to um, long, long any um, pullbacks, right? When they pull back and they get ready to get ready to turn and bounce, you're going to go long. Okay. Um, let's take a look at crude oil real quick. Oh my gosh, like, just like the US dollar, this crude oil is getting crushed. Crushed, left side of the cycle, absolutely smacked. And now we officially are lower. Okay, let's blow this up a little bit. We're officially lower right here than we were here, just a little bit. Okay, that's a big deal. That is a big deal, okay? So the point being lower highs, right? This one and these two are very, very close, but basically lower highs, kind of like that going on, right? Another low, lower high here, 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 okay? And now just the very, ever so slightly lower lows, okay? So <clears throat> crude oil, if it stays like this, just like the US dollar, you get a bouncy bounce, short it if it starts curling over. September 30th is the next cycle low. So yeah, you might get some kind of bounce up here and then whatever it does, short the snot out of it. I wouldn't short it right now. I'd wait till it does the bounce, then short it. So remember, we're looking at a daily time frame here, so you gotta be a little patient for let that to let that um, mature and develop, yeah. But yeah, I think short side trade for crude oil could be coming up. As long as I, like I said, as long as momentum stays negative on this bounce, this next bounce, okay, and it stays negative, like it may come up like this, as long as it stays negative and starts to do, do that again, you're good to go. If it gets positive, that changes, that changes things, you gotta be more cautious, all right? All right, give me one second. It's over 100 degrees here in Texas this week. Today's 103, tomorrow's 105, so ice water and AC are keeping us alive. The dog days of summer here in August, this is gonna be the hottest week of the year here in Texas, and then we'll start cooling off. All right, it's time to look at the S&P 500. We'll use the futures like we always do. Switch over to the daily cycles here. Obviously extremely strong. Now, little small update today, just like the rest of the indices. 42 almost, so, you know, kind of decent, smallish, but decent day. Still very bullish here. Momentum is not quite fully positive, trying to get there, but half of it is. The fast line's positive, slow line is not. So, um, 5641. Yeah, the market, the market could get, reach all-time highs. It's struggling to get too much higher here. It's 
at least at the moment, it's like I said, it's, it's the last two, three days, it's paused here a little bit. Especially these last two days, got a little pause going on. All right. Now, we're just going to wait to see, does this pause translate into another leg up or does it start to fail? All right, this I think is out on August 8th. So once again, we have another product where first or second week of November is a cycle low. Okay. We can take a peek at the weekly here. Yeah, momentum on the weekly is just absolutely, you know, blazing. I mean, it's been that way since October of 2023. Look at that. Blazing. Yeah, look at this on the weekly. Not even touching the bottom. That just goes to show you how bullish this is. And, you know, it's it's it did it again, right? It came down here, it didn't touch the bottom. So, if, look at the weekly chart. There's a good chance we'll hit all-time highs again. That's what this is kind of saying. But, you know, are we going to get one of these? So, you know, we'll let this run its course here. But uh, on the weekly charts, st things still look very bullish. Okay, let's go look at the uh, intraday charts. Were there any good trades of the, day, of the day? I suspect there were. So let's go take a look. All right, here we are on the five-minute chart. You know, I was uh, up at 7 o'clock over here streaming. Streamed all the way till 8 o'clock. So this was the hour that I streamed and talked about um, be careful at nine o'clock because a lot of times we get these pullbacks. Yeah, there you go, right there, right? Big old pullback right at nine ten. And if you go over to the hourly chart here, let's go over to hourly for a second. Okay, was there? Let's go to the hourly. Okay, what is that right there? See that nine o'clock? Big old down red candlestick. And I said on the on the Twitch live stream, be careful of 9 a.m. A lot of times you get big pullbacks, and there it was. Okay. Now, where was the, the, the best trade of the day? Right here. Right here at 10.50. Okay. After all this phone, baloney run-up, you know, from pre-market all the way to an hour in trading, then it gave it all up. <laughs> Whatever with the market, you know. That's why if you're going to trade early in the morning, you got to be super careful because this kind of nonsense goes on all the time. People get so caught out on this stuff. But the real trade was right here. This was the trade. This was this was the money maker. It happened at 1050. You can see it was near the bottom here on the SMI. It took about another 10 or 15 minutes for it to settle down. And then as soon as it did this little curl up right here, oh yeah. You're in the trade. You get a couple green candlesticks, boom, you're in. It runs all the way from, let's say, 5620-ish to 35. 15-point trade. Okay? That's 750 bucks. Really nice. Okay, super, super nice. That's $750 in your pocket. If that's all you did all day long, you made a bunch of money. And that to me was the trade of the day right there for sure. Easy money. See, this is much more stable, easy money. This is just, you know, uh, whack jobs and <laughs> whatever. It doesn't matter. Big funds, retail traders all mixed in the big bag of tricks, BlackRock doing their junk. This is all just total market manipulation, right? Unexpected behavior, the nine o'clock big pullback, whatever. Your typical nonsense. I mean, I don't even, I don't mind trading pre market over here sometimes, but, but right around this 8 30 to 9 30 time, man, I don't like touching the market sometimes. It's just too nutty. Look at this baloney. This is just nice, stable profit. Okay. This is spaghetti ball a mess. You don't know what's going to happen. All right, that's why I don't like to touch that hour. Okay, so there was your trade of the day right there. Boom, bam, big money. Really nice. Okay. 
Um, yeah, like I said, join me tomorrow morning, or not tomorrow morning, sorry, Friday morning, seven o'clock, I'll be on Twitch. If you want to become a member, there's a link in the description of the video, read the instructions, join 7.99. You get the live streaming charts, you're going to get a nightly email with five different charts and my opinion about what the market's going to do. Um, I'll continue to do the Twitch uh, uh, 7 o'clock a.m. if more people join. If, if not, then, you know, I might not keep it running because I don't want to sit there and talking to myself. But if people come and join the Twitch and watch the live stream, um, then I'll keep it going next week. There's a, a lot of value for the membership, so you should really consider joining. Um, I guarantee a lot of members are making some pretty, pretty big bank and they're easily covering their $7.99 worth of membership each month, okay? All right, that pretty much covers it. Hope everybody had a great one. Um, I think there's gonna be some pretty big opportunities coming up in some of those products I already covered. Okay, go back, watch the video for some of the products that you think you might be interested in. Okay, until then, God bless everybody. Talk to you all real soon again next time.